As I scrolled through YouTube shorts, I stumbled upon a video about basketball stars that piqued my interest. I thought, why not share with my followers how to make similar videos? You can apply this method to any sport or topic, but why basketball? Well, it has a massive following in the US, which means more American viewers and potentially higher profits for you. So stay tuned until the end, and I'll show you how you could make up to $500 a minimum per month easily. I'll also guide you in choosing a niche. In my previous video, I covered over 12 different niches, all fully monetized, meaning you can earn money by uploading content in any of them. Additionally, I'll walk you through creating various types of videos step by step. So let's start our explanation. LeBron James, born into poverty, defied odds to become the world's wealthiest basketball player. In 2021, he made history as the first active player in the American League to amass $1 billion. His journey, starting from a challenging childhood where his mother gave birth at 16, epitomizes resilience and success. To write the script, there are two methods. The first is that we will go to ChatGPT and copy this prompt and send it to ChatGPT. And you are waiting for him to write the script for you about a player randomly, or you are identifying the player by writing his name here. The second way is to search on YouTube for videos that talk about the facts and the march of the players, for example, and you watch it, understand the story and rewrite it briefly in your own way. And even if your expression is weak, just write it and send it to ChatGPT and ask him to rewrite it for you. After passing the script stage, now we will need the most important point, which is the images that we will use. The most important thing you must first read the script, understand it, identify important characters, etc., and the type of images you will need. Then you go to Google, for example, and search for pictures. For example, I here I will need photos of the character, then a picture with his family, then photos of his childhood. I'll search for it and celebrate it. I prefer you to check the quality of the images first. Now, after uploading the images, we will need to convert the script into a saying, so we will use the Eleven Labs website. I always advise you to use Adam's voice in these videos, which is one of the reasons for spreading the video quickly. Then you copy your script, but before that, always add a sentence, but did you know, and paste it here in this format as you can see, you are a little waiting, and then upload the video from the bottom button. Now we will go to YouTube and search for some effects. We will use it, and it is as follows. The first will help us add a touch to the shape of the video with bubbles on the video like this, while the other adds a transition, such as the camera shooting moment. You download it, of course, if it is without copyright. Now we will go to Pixabay and search for quiet music to use as a background for videos so that to give us the harmony of the sound of the images and the music that are as the background. Now it's time to go to the CapCut application and start editing work. The first step is to add all the supplies that we previously downloaded like this. And then the first step will be to add the audio of the script, then make sure that the video size is 9.16, and then add the images in this way according to the sugar audio make adjustments in the duration of the images to come consistent with the script using the image clipping or extending its duration. Now, after arranging all the pictures, we will return to each image individually and increase its size in this way in order to fill us with the video screen like this. As you can see, this process must be applied to all the images in the same way. Now we will add a movement to the images where they will appear and they are moving, and that is only using keys frames. In this way, first we combine the image in this way, and then we click on the keyframe. Then we go to the end of the picture as you see, then we move the picture either by moving it to the right or left, or we move it on the zoom movement. Watch with me in this picture we use this method to move the zoom. Watch with me now how I will do this way, and apply it to the second image. First we select the picture and then we add the keyframe in this way. 
Then we go to the end of the picture and add another keyframe in this way. Then we change the location of the image either by zoom or move it either right or left, the same way we apply it to all the pictures like this. After that, now we will add the video that we have uploaded to the effect. We add it in this way, and then we select the part of which we will use in this way. For example, this video, I will divide it into two parts that I will use together at the same time. After cutting the first party, we adjust its place like this. We first adjust its size like this. And then we go to the option and choose the screen in this way. And here is the result, as you can see. Now we will copy this party and paste it like this and then adjust its duration with another video in this way. Then we will return to the second part. And in the same way, we adjust its place like this. And then add the screen option. Then we copy and paste it like this and this is the result. Then we will add the second video like this. Now we will cut the correct clip that we will use as transition in this way. Then we copy and paste it in all the places where the transitions are located. But before that, we always add the screen option and we paste it in all places that have places that separate the images like this. Then we'll head to Effects Options, and we search on the vignette effect and add it to all the images in this way. After that, we add the music. This is how we adjust its duration. And also we do not forget to lower his voice a little, so that its voice does not rise on the narrator's voice then we add fade out or fade in to the sound. Now we will go to text option and then we are going to auto captions, make sure that the language is the English language. Then we will click on create and we are waiting until the writing appears with us. After it appears, we put captions in the center of the video in this way. Now we add fade to animation to write. Then we change the font for writing and to add a touch to the video, we will change the color of each paragraph of the captions where the first part will be white and the other we change its color to green. I prefer green. We do the same process on all captions in this way. Now the last step is to extract the video. So I say, you always check the quality of the video and the number of its frames before extracting it. We meet in a new video. Bye-bye.